When we have an HTML element that we want to style using CSS, we need to use a CSS selector in order to select it. And in this video, we're going to talk about the most important CSS selectors. The first and most basic type of selector is the element selector, which selects an element based on its name. So I'm going to create the example header one, which is enclosed within h1 tags. And in order to select this tag, I can simply write the element name, which is h1. And now in the browser, you can see that I've applied the red color to the first heading. Next, we're going to select an element by its ID. So this second heading, which I've added, has an ID, which is called paragraph ID. To select this element by its ID, all I need to do is write hashtag and then the ID. And the CSS over here turns the element blue, which is exactly what happens in the browser when I refresh. In the third example, I have a header which is nested within div tags. And in order to select this nested header, all I have to do is specify its path in the CSS. So we can write div, then the greater than symbol, followed by h3, and that's the selector we could use. And as you can clearly see, this also works in the browser because it turned our text orange. Selecting by class name is also possible. Let me add another header, which has the class name paragraph class. And to select this one in the CSS, all I have to do is write dot and then the class name. Refreshing the browser, you can see that the text of the fourth header turned green. The next selector is pretty cool because it selects the element whenever you hover over it. So down here, I have the example header five and over in the CSS, I can write h5 colon hover and then it selects this element. And when I refresh the browser and I drag my mouse over the fifth heading, you can see that the color changes to this deep pink color. The last selector I want to show you is an attribute selector. So the sixth heading that I've added has an attribute name and it has the value example. And in the CSS, we can select this by writing in squared brackets name equals example. Then again, refreshing the browser, you can see it works. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. If it helped you out, then make sure to leave a like rating down below and we'll see each other in the next one.